This man tried to leave quietly after having sex with her. The strange thing is that he was obviously wearing his own pant. But at that moment, it was suddenly tighter and smaller. He could only use leather straps to keep his pants from falling down. Even the shoes have become smaller. This happens because it changes to a borrowed body every morning. Sometimes he's an old man. Sometimes he's a beautiful woman. Sometimes he's an old lady. Sometimes a young boy. His age, nationality, and gender are completely different from the day before. Hua Jin has never remembered his original face since his 18th birthday, when his classmates went to college and fell in love. Hua Jin had to stay home alone. When his best friend Jack notices that something is wrong, he comes to Hua Jin's house. At first, he didn't believe the change in Hua Jin, but then he was surprised. He even came over every day to see what Hua Jin had become. Hua Jin found out that it wasn't that hard to accept with his teasing. He became a furniture designer who designed and made his own furniture, and he communicated with people online. He made a name for himself over the years. He then started to do a personal service based on each person's physical characteristics and needs for furniture. Sometimes he would go to furniture stores for inspiration. On this day, he heard an enthusiastic guide introducing the furniture. Coincidentally, she was recommending furniture based on the customer's physical characteristics. When Hua Jin talked to her, he deliberately made harsh requests and asked her to recommend furniture. However, the shop assistant guessed his profession through observation and recommended his studio to him. Wajin's first impression of the shop, assistant, was interesting and meticulous. From then on, he came to the furniture store every day. The shop assistant's name was Hisu. No matter how Wajin looked, she treated him the same. Wajin gradually fell in love with her. He began to expect himself to look better. Finally, one day, he woke up as a handsome man. He gets up the courage to ask Hisu to have dinner with him when he talks to her again. Yisu refuses at first, but Wujin's attitude was always sincere. He also said that the place he was going to must be Yisu's favorite. He said he was a designer and took Yisu back to his studio. The place was filled with different styles of furniture. Sure enough, Yisu loved the place. They were having a good time eating sushi together. Wujin turned on the music and put his phone in a glass of water. As the music drifted, the table vibrated slightly. Yisu thought it was funny, as if the table was singing. After Wujin sent Yisu home, he was afraid that if he slept, he would change his appearance, so he set numerous alarm clocks and kept his eyes open until dawn. In those days, Hua Jin waited until Yisu got off work and asked her out. He took her to the audio store, to the craft store. As they got to know each other better, they were surprised to find that the two of them had such a good understanding. Hua Jin didn't sleep for as many days as they played. Finally, one day after they separated, Hua Jin couldn't resist the sleepiness and fell asleep on the subway on the way home. He woke up again as a middle-aged man. The woman was a little scared because a middle-aged man was staring at her from afar. She calls her boyfriend, but he doesn't answer. Finally, she got a cab and ran away, but she didn't notice the sad look in the middle-aged man's eyes. She didn't know that the middle-aged man was her boyfriend. Hua Jin. Hua Jin took out his phone and found many calls and text messages from her. He tries to delete Yai Su's contact information, but has trouble doing so. He asked his friend Jack to represent his studio to work with Yai Su's furniture store. He designed a very sophisticated table. This table can't feed the phone into the grid. As if the table is singing, Yi Su looked at the table and wondered. She hadn't seen Hua Jin for a long time and couldn't find him. She didn't understand what happened to her boyfriend. Along with the table, there was a group of interns. A girl invited Yi Su to dinner but brought her to the door of the studio. This girl said that she was Hua Jin. Hua Jin felt so bad about being separated from his girlfriend these days and missed her every minute of the day. Yi Su looked at the videos, recorded by many different people on the computer, and felt unbelievable. Hua Jin also wanted to show her the text messages on her phone. Yi Su refuses and runs away, but when she went home, she was always thinking about something. She thought it was outrageous, but she couldn't help but look up Hua Jin's symptoms. Every night, she tossed and turned and couldn't sleep. During the day, she always called her customers as Hua Jin at work. She still liked Hua Jin a lot, so she found Hua Jin and confirmed his love. Then she offered to sleep with Hua Jin for one night, so that she could see with her own eyes Hua Jin get up the next day and transform into another person's body. Hua Jin agrees. He had been used to living alone for years, but after he met Yisu, he started to feel that life was hard and wanted to become a normal person. He talks to Yisu every day and meets him normally. Yisu's hand gently touches Wujin's face. No matter what kind of body he becomes tomorrow, she can accept it. The first rays of the sun shine in the morning. When Yisu woke up, Wujin's body had not changed yet. When she woke up, she saw that Hua Jin had all kinds of clothes in his closet. He had numerous pairs of glasses. She saw the video that Hua Jin had recorded. She felt a little sad. Hua Jin came up behind her and smiled coyly at her after his body changed. After that day, 
they were really close to each other. Hua Jin was fresh and new to Yisu every day, but also strange to her. He would sometimes be a college student or a bald man. He could even be a little boy. When the two of them go out to eat, Yisu would secretly pour wine into the bottle of Yaikido. More often than not, Yisu works with Hua Jin and gives him all kinds of advice. On the day of Yisu's annual meeting, Hua Jin was an old woman, so he managed to hypnotize himself and made him look like a handsome man at the annual meeting. Jack saw all this in his eyes. He quietly said to Yisu, Hua Jin is a kind person. Please don't let him get hurt. The two of them looked at the drunken Jack and laughed heartily. It was a great night and they really became one. Hua Jin took Yisu to meet his mother. Mom smiled and asked Yisu how hard it was to be in love with Hua Jin. Right, yes. It's really hard. Yisu's boyfriend is a mystery to everyone because they see Yisu change her boyfriend every day. Even Yisu doesn't know what her boyfriend looks like today before she meets him every day. But Hua Jin joked with her and didn't show up and left her alone to search for him on the street. So when Hua Jin took her hand from behind, Yisu got angry and shook him off. But she was easy to comfort. She saw Wujin's text message and forgave him again. Because of Wujin's special bite, Yisu couldn't introduce him to her family and friends. She was under a lot of stress every day. She couldn't concentrate at work and kept taking pills. When her superiors found out, they talked to her and told her to watch her personal life. Because Yisu was seen with different men every day. Yisu doesn't know what to do. At that moment, Hua Jin proposed to her. Hua Jin had hesitated about proposing to her for a long time. He wanted to be with Yisu all the time but was a bit timid. He finally felt that if he still hesitated to marry Yisu now, he would be really wrong to her. So he finally chose to propose to Yisu. But to his surprise, Yisu subconsciously withdrew her hand. She felt strange seeing Hua Jin every day. Although she knew that it hadn't changed on the inside. But she was still in a trance sometimes. She even had to close her eyes to feel Wuja's body. And marriage is not something that only involves the two of them. Hua Jin and she both need time to adjust to his changes. But what about her family? Hua Jin understood both so he got even more angry. The atmosphere in the car is getting awkward. Yisu takes some pills when she can even catch her breath. But this time... She fainted straight away. Hua Jin took her to the hospital and realized that Yisu was so stressed out that she went to a psychiatrist. She was taking Valium every day. But when the doctor asked her if she wanted to end her relationship with her boyfriend, Yisu replied calmly that her boyfriend couldn't lose her. When Hua Jin heard this, he blamed himself and didn't know what to do. When his mother found out, she told him the story of her past. It turns out that Wujin's father also had this disease that changed his body. At that time, she was under a lot of pressure when she was with Wujin's father. She was not afraid of people's comments and messages about her. What broke her the most was when she thought of the fact, if this person disappears, I can't even find him. It was painful. After she realized this, Wujin's father left her voluntarily when he found out about the situation. Mom was still very sad after all these years, so she could understand Yaisu's hesitation. She was scared because she couldn't tell others about it. Love can solve everything, but love can also ruin everything. Hua Jin thought long and hard and made a share for Yisu. Then he asked her to break up. He didn't want to make Yisu suffer anymore. At first, Yisu was relieved, but she broke down when she saw the cheer that Hua Jin sent her. I oh, think I saw this tomorrow. <laughs> She tried very hard, but she still couldn't hold on to her lover. After that, she put Wujin's things away. Her life went back to normal, and she didn't have to take medication anymore. She knew that Hua Jin had gone to the Czech Republic, which was a faraway place. She occasionally saw his designs and was still in a trance. Ten months had passed, early one morning, when she heard the familiar sound of music. She suddenly remembered her first date with Hua Jin. She suddenly couldn't understand. What was she afraid of in the beginning? The prejudices of the world didn't seem to make her feel worse than the loss of Hua Jin now. So she took a plane to the Czech Republic and found Hua Jin. When Hua Jin opened the door and saw the woman at the door, he frowned see. At first, he didn't want to admit to Yisu. Yisu attached her hand to his. She said that she was more afraid of losing him than being sick. Hua Jin finally cried at her words. The story ends with them embracing each other. This movie called The Beauty Inside was released in 2015. Yisu traveled a long road and met many people before finally realizing that she loved the same person all along. She loved Hua Jin for his inner beauty. True love has nothing to do with appearance. What most people love is an interesting soul. So what if your lover's appearance changes often? As long as we can grow old together, it's the most romantic thing.